G'day everyone. Um, so you might have seen last week GitHub's announcement that they are relaunching the reincarnation of their GitHub Copilot CLI. So this is the second coming of this particular tool. So the first version, which you may or may not have seen, was an extension to the, the GitHub CLI and was fairly limited in functionality, a very good tool. Um, it could suggest commands um, on the command prompt, um, or it could give you explanations of what a, what a command could do. Um, but this is a new generation of this tool of the Copilot CLI, and it's gone into public preview. You can download it now, which is uh, what I've just been doing and playing around with it. I've installed it on Windows 11 with uh, Windows subsystem for Linux. I also believe there's an experimental version for PowerShell um, in the very early stages of development, um, but I'm going to be running it on WSL uh, with Bash. And this is um, a terminal native version of GitHub Copilot, um, as opposed to the Visual Studio extension, which I'm sure we're all much more familiar with. So yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of a, a quick, a quick demo of this tool and we'll see what it's all about. So yeah, similar to the VS code extension, it's an AI powered coding assistant does all the stuff you're used to. It's going to have an agentic mode, can answer your coding questions, can write code, debug code, um, and also hook into your MCP servers. So it comes with one MPC integration out of the box. Unsurprisingly, that's the GitHub MCP server. So you can do things like ask, um, what uh, PRs do I currently have open for my review? Um, and then yeah, integrate with that GitHub MCP server and use that to, to resolve those, ki those kind of tooling queries. Um, it's not available on the free plan at the moment. It's only available through uh, the paid plans, Pro, Pro Plus, Business and Enterprise. Um, you can get it for, for Linux, Mac OS, and as I'm running here on Windows. So really easy to install. It's just installed as an NPM package. So I've got a shell open here. Been playing around with it before. So you just do an NPM install. Uh, you want to install it as a global package and GitHub Copilot. And there it goes, as easy as that. And um, it has two different run modes. So you can run it in interactive mode, which is where um, you get, so again, what you're used to with the VS Code extension, where you can, you can keep asking questions and go through a, uh, the kind of this REPL loop, um, or you can run it in a kind of a once of mode, a programmatic mode where you just give it a single instruction to go away and do something. So let's spin it up, give it a try, see what it's all about. Uh, so the command is copilot, um, also has the really nice banner mode. It only shows this banner the first time it runs. I've already run it. Uh, but you can use this banner switch to show it again. And you can see this really neat ASCII art animation. Like that, there it is. The first time you run, um, it asks you to log into your GitHub account, which will need to have a paid GitHub Copilot subscription. Uh, asks you if you trust, trust the files in the current folder. Um, I'm going to say, no, I don't want to be in that folder. I'm just going to go up a few parent folders into the root of that repo before I run it and then go back in and say, yes, proceed. All right. So I wrote a little prompt here, um, just to generate a copilot instructions file. I thought that would be quite a good little use case to try it out see how powerful it was in terms of being able to look through and gather the context from the whole project and be able to use that to infer what the project's all about, what it does, what technologies it uses, what naming conventions and so on. So I'm going to paste that prompt in and it might take a little while. So 
might need to fast forward this bit when I edit this video. So let's paste that in and see what it comes back with. And there we go, it has finished. So let's see how good the result is. So it has actually, it has achieved the goal. It has created a Copilot instructions file. Uh, I'm gonna go into VS Code, have a little look. Let's open that file up. And let's see, it looks well structured. Uh, it's done an overview, a purpose. Uh, which all looks correct. It's pulled out the core technologies, architecture, the front end is React and TypeScript, Python and Flask. Yep. I would say that's actually pretty good. Yeah, quite impressive. So one of the interesting differences between the GitHub Copilot CLI and the Visual Studio Code extension is that the CLI uses premium requests. So every time you submit a prompt, it actually consumes one of your premium requests. And surprisingly, the default LLM model that's being used by Copilot CLI is Claude Sonnet 4, um, as opposed to the GPT 4.1 uh, model, which you get out of the box with the VS Code extension. Um, you can configure uh, Copilot CLI to use GPT-5, but again, in uh, GitHub Copilot, that is a premium request. So yeah, if you're using uh, GitHub Copilot CLI, just be aware that you are gonna start burning through your premium requests pretty quickly. Um, so at, uh, on the default plans, the paid plans, um, I'm on a pro plan, so I get 300 per month of those premium requests, but I could easily see myself uh, starting to get through those pretty quickly uh, in a coding session. So yeah, something to be aware of. Um, overall, yeah, great little tool. It's still very early days, still in public preview. Be really interesting to see how this CLI tool evolves alongside the VS Code extension and how it starts to compare to competing tools like obviously Claude, Co Claude Code, um, Google Jewels, and the other AI agent assistants uh, from competitors. But yeah, so far, so good. Looks great. So download it, give it a try. Let me know how you go.